Hello everybody. My name is Ed. I'm in my armchair and the smoking lamp is lit. Today, this video is about a chain started by Buckeye Piper. Listing five different blends, then nominating three people to continue the chain. Um, and of course, with me, I'm all about the pipes. So I'm going to be throwing in some pipes along with it. So, let's get started. All right, the first category is your everyday blend, your favorite. However, <clears throat> so little housekeeping. This is my new favorite pipe because it is my newest pipe. And remember, all pipes deserve to be a favorite for a while. This one, look at this guy. This is an LCS. London Common Simon. Simon showed this uh, not too long ago. And I normally don't even, you know, I have a couple of these stubby pipes. But I saw this one, I just got, I hate to say it, <laughs> I have to have it. So I bought it off of him and I had it now for a good week or so. And I am loving this. The workmanship, just incredible. I'll tell you, um, Simon's pipes are just, they are just worth it. It's a two star. It just really is great. And it's kind of a nice size bowl. So it's not like a 15 minute smoke. It's a nice smoke. I love it. So this would be a pipe I would smoke on my everyday blend. And that everyday blend is, can you see it? Oh, it doesn't go the wrong, it comes out the wrong way. Anyway, it is Tinderbox's Philosopher. And I've mentioned this many times. This is a blend that I found about over 25 years ago, for quite a while, it was my only blend. I had the different pipes. I really didn't care too much about, I don't want to say <laughs> I don't care about the blend. Um, the blend wasn't important to me. I like it. Smoked it. So yeah, maybe 10, maybe more than 10 years. That was my only tobacco because I could get it right by work or driving in to buy work. Um, so I always had fresh tobacco. It was great. A little thing about philosopher. It is considered a light English and I'm kind of liking the English blends, but this is important. This is the blend of one of the Pipes main people, Lee Van Cleef. This is his favorite blend. Again, Tinderboxes, Philosopher. Okay, to the next criteria. I really do love this pipe, but we're going to take Put it down for now. The next criteria is OTC, which if you're from Trenton, New Jersey, that means original Trenton Cracker. Ha! <laughs> for the old timers. Actually, it's your Codger blend. And I consider a Codger blend anything that's been around longer than me. But, 
this is a little different because I really um, don't smoke this that type much. Although I started 50 years ago with Borkum Riff, which is still around. Um, but this is actually going to be kind of dedicated to my grandfather. Prince Albert in a can. I can still have memories of my grandfather putting his pipe in with his finger getting out the tobacco. He passed away when I was about Ten and a half, and uh, we live in West Virginia, so it wasn't like I saw him all the time. But we saw him a couple years, times a year, and then he would come out in the summer. Um, but his basement is where his workshop was. He was retired um, mechanic, um, but he also did a lot of woodworking and stuff. And anyway, his basement. He smoked Prince Albert pretty much all the time. <laughs> and if you've heard about ghosting, my grandfather's basement was ghosted. <laughs> it was just a smell as soon as you went down there. And I just, I just love it. Anyway, if it's a codger blend, I got a Tracy Mincer custom built for that. This is from, heaven knows anywhere from I think 36 to 46, something like that. Um, this is definitely older than me. This is a codger. So that's the second criteria. I'll be back. Okay. The next criteria. This was defined as your Friday night blend. The end of the week. You need something special to relax you, to calm you down, to celebrate you made it through a week. But I am retired, so any day could be Friday night kind of attitude. Um, so I kind of consider this as maybe when I just need something special. And when I tell you what it is, you'll figure it out. Sherlock Holmes. Again, it's backwards. Sorry. When I want to do something even more special, smoking my pipe, I have the Sherlock Holmes. And I hate to say, it's, I've said it before, it kind of like transports me. I get into a different time, different place. And if I'm really into it, I'll actually be putting on maybe some Sherlock Holmes DVDs. And if they're good ones, I will be transported to that era. The Jeremy Brett ones were my all time favorites. Um, it just, it will be special. Now, what pipe would I use? <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you. I got, of course, this guy here. This guy here is a Sherlock Holmes Ardor. Uh, this is one of my first pipes. It's a bent one. Bent one. Another Ardor. Ardor. Of course. <laughs> Church wardens, of course. Any pipe 
Excuse me a second, I gotta put this out of my lap. Before the eyes fall over. Any pipe, especially of that older brand bent pipe, which I really love, is my favorite style of pipe, allows me to, you know, as I said, get that little extra out of smoking my pipe, extra relaxation. So, that's my Friday night pipe or blend. Okay, let's go on to the next. Okay. The next criteria is a blend to impress your friends. And I have to point out that I, kind of true, but I did have a friend once, but then my dog died. What can I say? Nah, I have friends. Now this one's going to go a little, couple different ways. Because really, when I'm with my friends, my friends really are not pipe smokers. A couple of them have dabbled in it, but I don't sit down and smoke with my pipe with my friends. A few of us get together. It's really a cigar. So on those kind of occasions, which were plenty, you know, poker games, just whatever, our golf trips coming up, we do a lot of cigar smoking. So I'd get probably a Cohiba to impress my friends. Nice enough. But we're talking about Smoking, impressing my friends with a tobacco. <laughs> and then you can imagine, again, these guys really are into the cigars. Um, anything could impress them. So what I'm choosing to impress them is, again, backwards, Mississippi River, but more importantly, rum barreled aged. Why? Because it smells great, but you got a little part of the rum barrel in every can. That would impress my friends. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. But there's another thing. If I did have some pipe smoking friends and um, I wanted to impress them, I got for a calling into um, Martin's, you know, show, you know, about a pipe, some pen dance. Just a small, I think I only got one bowl out of it, and I loved it. So, for my pipe smoking friends, I'd tell them, Penzance. But you know what? I can't freaking find it anywhere. I have not found any of it ever since I got some and liked it. What the heck? So now, my fr if anybody comes over to smoking a pipe with me, I'm going to say, yeah, I like to impress you with my Penzance, but uh, I can't. It's in the safe and it's on a time lock. Best I can do right now. Can't believe it. I was really liking Penzance. But what pipe would I show you? And this would be it. J. Mouton. This was my first commission. Well, actually, still my only commission pipe. This is gorgeous. It smells or <laughs> smokes great. 
I can talk about the whale spine, which isn't too many pipes with that. This would be what I would show you to impress you. Jason Mouton, just a fantastic job. I love it. As a side little note though, um, within a week or two, Jason is going to be raffling off or auctioning off a few of his pipes for St. Jude's Children's Hospital. So be looking, be look on the lookout for his video on that. Anyway, thank you, Jason. Final category coming up. Final category. This is your once a year blend. Holiday, special occasion, whatever. Now this would be no surprise, but I would be smoking it in this guy. Okay, and my Meerschaum. This is the one my sister bought me in Turkey from the actual carver. And I've had this 40 some years. It is my special occasion pipe. Now, what blend, less than four or five months ago, I wouldn't give you a blend. I would just be smoking, actually my philosopher, probably, um, or maybe a few other things. I didn't have any blend. I had pipes that I would use for special occasions, but not a blend. Until just before Thanksgiving, Nellie, N.C. Piper, had a giveaway, and I got fifth place. I mean, just having five prizes is impressive, but fifth place, and here's what I got. <laughs> Getting backwards. Thanksgiving Day. I love it. So I was smoking this, you know, the week of... Thanksgiving. Fantastic. Smoked it on Thanksgiving. And that's about the time I decided, you know, I'm just going to jar this up and I am going to smoke it on Thanksgiving. Well, maybe the few days before. I got four ounces. This should last me quite a while quite a few years worth. So this is a newly created um, special then brand. Um, and I think I'm going to be looking for something else for Christmas. Um, right now it's golden days of yore. Haven't decided on if that's going to be the one, but it could be, you know, maybe special hol Halloween blend. Nelly. Um, you created a monster. Thank you. Anyway, that is the five blends. Next, we'll be getting on to some nominations. So finally, three nominations to continue this chain. And I like to say that I kind of like the whole concept of this. I've been watching all of the ones that I've seen. And um, in a lot of cases, it shows me a little something different what they normally would do. I like this whole concept. Anyway, my three nominations. First one, Jason Mouton. I want to... Have you do this? Love it. And uh, thank you for your pipe. <laughs> Next, this is a guy who did a lot of stuff with us. He started about the same time I did. And as Christmas came along, he kind of took a sabbatical. 
Um, so hopefully he'll do this, see this, and do one just to kind of come on out. And then he can go back and hide. I don't care. But that is Ben, the New Jersey Piper. N.J. Piper. I'd like to see you again. Oh, I just thought of something. Do you know why the people in New York are so anxious, just kind of depressed all the time? Do you know why? Because the light at the end of their tunnel is Jersey. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. I was born in Jersey, so I can say that joke. Anyway, back to nominations. The next one, I just really enjoy. And so I want to nominate them. And this is the Piano Piper. Or as I call him Piano Man, because the actual first video I ever saw of his, he was playing the piano. Then I started watching more of this, you know, plans and reviews and stuff. So those are my three nominations. I thank you very much for paying attention to this, taking the time. Again, I like the old idea of doing a chain. So anyhow, I'd appreciate it if you would like and subscribe or subscribe and like. I'm really not sure which one is best. Ha! Figure it out. And if you don't like, you're not going to get to heaven. So may your smoking lamp always be lit and you take care out there.